imagine if you could shrink the earth to the size of a marble. The gravity would be so strong that nothing could escape, not even light. That is a lot like a black hole. A black hole forms when a large star runs out of fuel and its gravity takes over. The star eats itself and basically leaves a hole in space. When gases, light, and even stars get close to a black hole, they get sucked in like a vacuum cleaner. If, it, if you got too close to a black hole, the gravity would stretch your body like silly putty and you could never escape. Astronomers think there is no limit to how big black holes can be. It all depends on how much mass is in them. A star would have to be much bigger than our sun to become a black hole. Some black holes that have been identified are as big as a hundred or a million or more of our suns. Black holes can come in many different shapes and sizes, but their parts are all the same. They have a singularity point where all the mass is crushed to a single point. The edge of a black hole is called the event horizon, which not even light can escape. There are so many black holes in the universe that no one can count them all. Scientists believe that there are, there is a black hole in the middle of every galaxy. There, they are invisible, but researchers identify them by what effects they have on the objects around them. We never have to worry about our sun becoming a black hole because it isn't a big enough star. I have learned so much about black holes. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation.